was sweating. No, B movie. No. Did you know in the B movie lore that the B had sex with the mom, mm-hmm. which produced who? I don't know, dude. I'm not playing along with this. Jerry Seinfeld. That's not it. Officially. Hey everybody, Madam. I'm Sam. I'm Will, and, and we, we are Working Title. Guys, we are back. It is the final Studio Ghibli movie of the summer, heading into your fall as school begins today. We have Howl's Moving Castle. What's up, Patreon gang? That's seeing this early. I believe when YouTube's seeing this, we're getting close to Christmas. So Merry Christmas for anyone who celebrates. I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, four-part movie series. Do we know anything about Howl's Moving Castle, gentlemen? Not a single thing. There's a castle. Christian Bale is in this. I've made it very actively known to these two. Oh, true. It's either the main character has like a necklace or earrings that I've seen online that you can buy. Guys, if you like this content, make sure you leave a like, hit the subscription button. We're on the road to 50k. A lot of you guys are not subscribed. We can get to 50k if you just do that. Just push the button. I mean, and you'll probably forget about us in, in a month or so after you've done it. It's, no. it's no big deal. Seriously. Make sure, make sure you don't go support the movie, though, because we don't own this movie. And then come back and watch your boys react to it. We're gonna punch her. Bah! Oh, she. Wait, this is the fucking castle. It's a fish. Wow. Wait, oh, it's on four legs. Oh, yeah. Ew. I hate this. Damn. <laughs> That's so cool. Look at the effect of the, the fog. Look at that. Why does it look like that? It's anime. DWJ, shout out. What year did this come out? I think it said, was it 2004? I have not a single clip. It looks so beautiful. Like the most up to date thing we've watched. Oh! Oh, it's a little scary. I was gonna say, it's not like some mystical f- thing in the wilderness you have to go find. <laughs> Dude, how, how's it? Oh, it's how! Is the talk of the town. Yeah. Oh. The ladies' man. The My one, loins! The number one bachelor. Dude, look at the fucking peacock feathers. Yeah, dog. Sad. Work. <laughs> Very interesting planes. Yeah. What? Where are we? <laughs> Not Is this before. Earth? No. <laughs> Beer! Ah, uh, uh, beer. Ah, uh, beer! This is like. Is that like a. supposed to represent like a moving castle? The flag? I don't know. You're asking the wrong people, man. Whoa. Dude, this guy's just so colorful. Hey there, little lady. <gasps> hey, looks like a little mouse lost its way. Oh, no. You're a creeper. I'm not lost. She's pretty cute for a mouse. How old are you anyway? You live around here? Leave me alone. There you are, sweetheart. Sorry I'm late. I was looking everywhere for you. It looked to me like the two of you were just leaving. Huh. That's Christian Bale. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? He's got the force. Don't hold it against them. They're actually not all Damn, right. he looks cool! Where to? I'll be your escort. Don't get alarmed when I'm being followed. I love it, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. Don't I, I didn't alarmed. think this was gonna be what he was, but that's great. Oh, okay! It's No Face and Demons! Cousins. The whole No Face family! I don't understand what's oh, happening. Sludge monsters. But why? He flies. Peter Pan. Look at the start of the movie. I don't even know what yeah. what is normal or not normal. I think not. This is not normal. My yeah. reaction. Maybe she's just an indoor girl. I don't know. Hasn't been out much. You are a natural. I get chitty chitty bang bang vibes. I get around the world in eighty days. I'll make That's sure a great drop off. But wait a bit before. 
before you head back outside. Okay. That's my girl. <laughs> right. This guy's slick. <laughs> oh, man. Batman. He is suave. What's going on? Someone just told me you floated down into our balcony. So that did happen. It wasn't <laughs> She thought she was tripping. Lenny, the chocolate eclairs are done. Okay, I'll be right there. <laughs> That's Thanks. one way to... <laughs> There's a door right there. Yeah, you can <laughs> right around the corner. I just wanted to... Ew. Oh, I'm very low. What kind of monster is this? What the fudge? Why is Gabagook in every single thing we watch? It's the big That's, head it's witch woman. From Full Metal to this. From Spirit Away. Spirit Away. Away. Studio Ghibli trends. Is there like something that goes on in Japan that we don't know about and y'all are just putting it in this art? We need to burn out some corruption in the world. Jeez. Some goop. Y'all got some shit living. And there's a witch too. <laughs> that yeah, looks like a witch. That's what was absolutely in that I'm sorry, carriage. Yeah, shop's closed now, ma'am. Yo, yeah, I'm afraid. We're a tacky shop. Yet yeah, you're by far the tackiest thing here. Not to be mean, I'm but she looks like a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> the Goblin King. She looks the like exact. the Goblin King from The Hobbit. She looks like, um... I'm not even the trying to be mean, it's just like, We're there. Closed. Standing up to the Witch of the Waste. That's plucky. The Witch of the Waste. Oh! Yeah. <gasps> Thieves! Assassins! Whoa! Ew. Bro, what the <laughs> bard when he had, like, the... What? The tumor in his throat. Uh, from Witcher. Yeah. She is old. Aged. That looks like the girl from Spear the White, the granny. Yes. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's gonna stay. Yeah. Oh. Isn't that yeah. what witches do? Is like they take the youth from people, from women. So, so they stay beautiful. I think that's what happens in Tangled. <laughs> <laughs> what is she gonna do? No one's gonna believe who she is. Oh shit. Sophie? I'm afraid for this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me. You sound ghastly, like some 90 year old woman. Uh, yeah. Why her? I'm so this lost. Room. I don't understand why sludge monsters appear and why they're a shit bale. They yeah. were chasing Hal. Is that Hal? The Christian Bale guy? I'm guessing. Yeah, I'm assuming it's him. That's what the oh, yeah, her oh, friend oh, stated. That's oh, probably oh, Hal. Oh, that I thought. Ah! <laughs> Running away, Granny! Crazy if you do this, Grandma! <laughs> There's nothing but witches and wizards out there! Thank you! Thank you! Oh, we good. Oh, we good. Oh, did you hear the crack? <laughs> I'm not getting the best of this old lady. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Your head's a turnip. I've always hated turnips <laughs> ever since I was little. Hmm? Ah! Some wish. Right. No way! Quit Muscle memory in my mind. There's no need to thank me. You don't owe me a thing. I'm sure you have to oh. put that on you, and I've had more than enough of witches and spells. So just go find some veal and stand in it. <laughs> Why is this normal? So I'm trying to make sense of it. <laughs> I have to. No, you can't. Oh, a cave! Did you just turn ah! into that? No, he was holding it. Thank oh. you, this cane is perfect. Look at that, Just what I need. I seem to become quite cunning in my old age. <laughs> I love that she's just like accepted this. It's been like a day. She's been attacked. She's left alone by a man. She's encountered a talking piece of wood. Oh my lord. Bro, yeah, look at that. Look thing. At that. He's like, I found run, a place for you to stay. Run. <laughs> oh. Ew, it's like a slum. Look at that. They call this a castle? More like a shithole. You make up your mind. Are you gonna let me in or not? Oh. Whoa! Oh, my shorts, thank you. My shorts. I'm sure how long you eat the heart of a shriveled old lady like me. I wish it talked. 
comes menacingly. Hal just comes down. Don't put any more wood! It opened the portal of hell! Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> She's just asleep. I don't envy you, lady. That is one mm-hmm. bad curse. A curse is a tough one. You're gonna have a very hard time getting rid of that one. The fire spoke. No, I'm an extremely powerful fire demon named Calcifer. Calcifer. You promise to help me if I help you? Uh, I don't know, lady. Demons don't make promises. <laughs> okay. Lady. Lady. How unfazed on, this lady I, is is how I think on, I, I want hey, to be in my life. Lady. lady in your old age? Lady. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing can faze her. Yeah, literally. She's like, I'm old now, so I fear nothing. Oh, a fire talking. Okay. War. Going to war? War Wars upon us. Everything is just triple XL. Great Wizard Jenkins. What? What? Just a whole person, I think. Mm. No, oh, that's her. What the fuck? This isn't the house. It, oh! The, oh, God! The, it is. What the fudge? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Stand by. Stand by. I am the wizard. Must be a customer. That's sick. That's awesome. I wish I could Stand grow a beard like that. <laughs> Stand by. Hello, oh. sir. Yes, my dear child. So is the moving castle now will- just a house? The, the switch in the rain corner, he turned it and the light outside changed. Like they changed, like they teleported. You know what I mean? It's like Doctor Strange's uh, castle or house. Farewell, child. <laughs> he is so funny. You're telling lies to our customers. It's a little Will with a, mo- a big beard. <laughs> I have to. It's the Kingsbury door. The Kingsbury door. Oh, so they're all different doors, That's like what... you said, Will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look. See, look, he turns it. That's crazy. The light changes wow. on top. Would this be the residence of the great wizard Pendragon? That's a lot. Wow. Different nation, or different city. Ah. Whoa. Oh, damn. Wow. Oh, that's so Whoa. cool. Whoa! Okay, that's, that's, that's awesome. awesome. That's yeah. really cool. It threw me off so much when we were just in the town. I was like, that makes no sense. Now. What if you take the moving castle to one of these towns and you face the doors at each other? I'm getting angry. Don't you Bro. want to have some bacon and eggs? Damn, that's Just the thickest bacon I've ever seen. Like I said, triple XL bacon too. Everything's just extra. I don't cook. I'm a scary and powerful fire demon. <laughs> 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 Mushu. I have to look up the voice actor. Literally Mushu. <laughs> <laughs> she is so slick. She's great. It's another curse. May all your bacon burn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm black. How? Oh! There he is. Master How! I love making bacon. Yeah, yeah man. I got a whole load in that fridge, too. I know exactly what I'm eating for dinner tonight. He's eating the shell. <laughs> I love how bizarre oh. this is. This is extremely bizarre, but this is great. Oh. <laughs> Scorch marks. How? Can you read them? Your heart shall soon belong to me. It can't be good for the table. <laughs> wow. Uh. He's so cool. He's very cool. He has no reason to be this cool. <laughs> Calcifer's the driver. Make hot water for my bath. Fine, like moving the castle isn't hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> You're not working for the Witch of the Waste, are you? I've had enough of it. <laughs> There's a better run before I fight. Yeah. He can die. Don't, don't. I'll fall. You crazy lady with power. Don't be fine. I'll fall. Help. I'll fall. Help. I'm not falling. I'm falling. Oh, he's so cute. I'll fall. I'm falling. Uh, Calcifer the demon. He's like a little hedgehog. Oh, he's a little gold. Little stubby uh, arms. Uh, 
Whoa. That's sick. Wow. I'd appreciate it. You got a haircut. Torment my friend. Yeah. You got the arm in. Make sure the cleaning lady doesn't get carried away while I'm gone. Oh, what the fudge? Where does the black take Sophie, it? Sophie, where did you get out? She almost smothered me. If I die, how will die so I hope you know? Is it like the fire of Hal's heart? Wait, we can't come up here. Whatever you don't want me to clean, better hide it now. Oh. Save my room for last, okay? Uh, don't go to rub in! Mm -hmm. those, I'm just borrowing those magazines. It's Hal's. Oh. Paint room. Mm -hmm. It's the toilet. Oh. Oh. Bro. Bro, oh. how? What are we doing here? A nice toilet seat. It's like a beating heart, too. You see that? Yeah. It reminds me of like an angler fish. <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> I love this guy. Really? <laughs> Mike Wazowski. Is that Mike Wazowski? Billy, Cr I don't know who Billy Mike Wazowski is. is. She I likes my sparks. Wow. I'm calling it right now. This movie feels very atmospheric. Beautiful. Yeah. It's called. Oh, the stick. Hey. Oh yeah. Let's go. Is this thing gonna drink water? Hey, it's, it's a fish. It needs its vacation. It's got dragon wings too. I didn't even pick that up. What okay. the fuck? That's how. Bird. Uh, oh. Uh, I think how's the guy in the black in the thumbnail? Yeah, yeah. which is different here. Because the crow. Yes. Feathers. Whoa. Oh, the war. He's like witnessing the. What, what the, the fuck? fuck? That's the the witches. Oh. Those are all wearing the hats. It's like a hurricane. And here it comes. Back. To heal up. He needs his revive before he goes back to the war. What? Whoa. The fuck? Holy shit. What? He is a bird now. He looks like uh, the man beast from Gurren Lagann, Will. Yeah. Is it Virgil? You okay? Yeah, I think so. You suck. Salai's bath. Normal feet. Salai's bath is so, so disgusting. Maybe. You shouldn't keep flying around like Soon you won't be able to turn back into a human. Why? My own kind attacked me today. Who, the Witch of the Waste? No, some mad wizards who turned themselves into monsters for the oh, king. Wow. Those wizards are going to regret doing that. They'll never change back into humans. After the war, they won't recall they ever were. Mm -hmm. Hey, aren't you supposed to report to the king too? Who's this? What? It's the old lady. Because no, maybe, of the curse? Maybe she's asleep. She turns back to normal. Oh, maybe. Master Howell hardly eats anything. I can't believe this. That's why he's too bad. Oh, there we go. What happened? He's got red hair now. Sophie! You, you sabotaged me! Look! Look what you've done to my hair! Drown, I'm drowning here, Hal. 
I'm drowning. I'm drowning here. That is sad boy hours. Yeah. Such drama. <laughs> is dead? What a no, drama queen. Yeah. When she says I can't touch her boobs. <laughs> <laughs> it's so Christian Bale of him, too. <laughs> yeah. To be a drama queen. Be naked, bro. Oh, boy. Uh, eyes up. Don't look at uh, butt. butt. Whoa. Wow, look at that. Yeah. That's awesome. That's so creepy. That's I don't like awesome. it. Magicka level 1000. Sophie, wait. Justice. <laughs> Swear to me, Rachel, Sophie. Why not, you stupid bastard? That's on this. <laughs> I do know that. Why not? Why don't you go to the palace for me? Huh? What? Maybe then, Madame Sullivan will finally give up on me. Madame Sullivan. The neck lady. Another girl that he chased. Now, off you go. Then why does he just go himself? He's a coward. Right, keep an eye out for Hal in every why single form. Like Look at that dog. What <laughs> is that? It's Hal. Ew. It's easily Hal. There's no way it's not. Ew. It's got a little blonde hair. What the feet? Hal, you disguised yourself as an old dog? What the fuck? You know how hard uh, it is to do things uh, now. If you're so great, why don't you break the spell you put on me? I'm sorry, dear. I'm surprised no, she's allowed to say that. Oh, I grab me. You're a bitch. Well, at least now, if the dog anyway, listened. You get back here right now! Wait. But Hal sees her as a young girl. No, it was only when she was asleep. But what if that's that how he actually yeah. sees her, and that's then it won't even make sense to him? What the And what did they even step on? That Solomon, oh. using her magic to God, force so the fireball, has gone for second stairs. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> what a creature. She's a specimen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, so many steps. Oh. 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 oh my god. Oh my god, she's sweating so Help. much. I can't make it. Where does she get all that energy? Bro. Oh. She's got <laughs> boobs on boobs coming out of her neck. Ever since that Solomon banished me to live in the wastes. Well, Solomon! Too bad I'm not younger, or I'm gonna do a hand. <laughs> I like how they're all just like, yep, it's kind of normal. It's a normal Sunday. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Don't give up now. Let's go. Just shut up. Bro. Oh gosh, she's like melting. <laughs> And you look so much older. She looks like a cupcake. A chair. It's mine. Oh no. Solomon Grundy. Oh no. <sighs> oh. She, she, she looks, looks different old. every time I see her. Yeah, every frame she looks different. <laughs> she looks differently oh, horrid. Get back here. Start saying his name. It's okay. The other lady is so oblivious. Could be a play, man. Oh. oh. This way, please, That's man. him. Light bulb? Lots of light bulbs. Sir, Sir Tesla? Elon? The Prestige with Christian Bale. Oh, yeah. Where's Hugh Jackman? Whoa. Those were the stick figures that were outside by the steps. <laughs> Sorry, that was crazy. I see a giant stick. Yeah. Scarecrow? I was hoping it was the Scarecrow. It doesn't look like it. Well, it could be like her from different So films. you are Hal's mother, are you? This is like a botanical garden. This is beautiful. It is very beautiful. I am Madame Solomon. His name is Heen. He's my errand dog. Mm. I had him escort you here. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Send her in. Oh. oh. I think the little mm. boy might be oh. Hal. What on earth happened to you? Oh. Ugh. And sometimes he's hard to understand, but his intentions are good. He just wants to be free. 
Al won't come here. He doesn't need your help. True. He can fix his problem with his oh. demon on his own. I'm certain of it. Al? Oh? Did you say Al was coming? I'm on his heart. Al. Al. Get away from me. Stop that. Just calm down. Right, Solomon? You're so eloquent today, Your Majesty. Solomon! <laughs> ah. Copycat. <laughs> Solomon, that's the best double you've made of me yet. Ah, keep up the good work. Your Majesty. Get my generals assembled, sir. So it wasn't actually him. <laughs> to see you again, how? You're looking well. Oh, so, what? I had a weak disguise, didn't I? I'm afraid not. Whoa, what the fudge. Bruh. This movie's like a freaking acid trip, also. Spirited Away 2.0. Wow, no, this is like great, though. Yeah, this is good. It's very good. Spirited Away was good. I like this way more, though. This is like, I mean, look at this. This is so trippy. Well, Spirited Away was way more trippy than this. Don't look down. She just tapped the ground and it became the galaxy. Whoa, wow. So cool. And he ended up being the dog. He was a ginger sky next to her. Trippy. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my gosh, dude. Whoa! Whoa. Let go of the. Why are you saving her? The dog. It can fly. <laughs> sure. Oh, this whole time it can sure. fly. Sophie! I don't know the way. Hey, don't worry. The ring that I gave you will guide you back home. All you have to do is summon Calcifer with your heart. It's going. That's cool. It's a waypoint. Just keep fun. Oh, there we go. Oh. oh god. He's still standing. Oh man, oh god, oh man, oh god, oh man. Oh. Oh. Open up Emporium number one of four and two of four. Empty. Oh. We've been compromised. Don't try to be cute, dog. <gasps> I'm still not going to trust you. Oh, she's gonna. That's how Sullivan's gonna know where to go. This fucking dog. How am I supposed to land this thing? You jump. Oh, girl. Oh, oh right in the mouth. Up. Yeah. Oh, wow. No! Don't swallow the flame. Dying. Are you hurt? Oh, I missed you. I oh. missed you too. Thanks for coming to meet us. This is weird. Do I, she's back to normal. Mm -hmm. So is it only when she sleeps? Mm. Oh, there he is. Invisible. <gasps> Bloody. This is bad. You've gone too far, Howl. Bro's been fighting demons in his life. Literally. This is like Wallace and Gromit where he's following footprints <laughs> and it turns into a human. <laughs> Fucking love that movie. What Whoa! Is that? This house never makes sense. Yeah, you cannot tell me this movie makes sense. This is the, so bizarre. Uh, oh, it's multiple paths! This is a nightmare. His breath. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, oh. oh, oh, beast. He's a big bird now. Well, they said he looks like a wilde, wilde beast earlier. I'm going to help you break the spell that you're under. You, you can't even break your own what spell. The but you don't it's understand. His, it's his I love mm -hmm. it. Whoa. Oh, no. What? I get it. I can't even figure out the consistencies of why it happens. What if I dump a bucket of water on you? If you drown me, then Howell will die too. Because you're the heart. Yeah, maybe. He keeps saying that. Like, if he dies, so does Howell. I just don't understand. Because Howell lost his heart, so maybe you're right. Maybe he is. Look, Howell is so different than Howell. Hi, Turnip Head. Maybe, all, <laughs> maybe all these things are parts of Howell. Turnip Head's the. 
is a goodwill and kind heart. The boy is childish wonder. God damn. Strength. She's like got her youth back. And the dog. The dog's just helping too. The castle's helping too. It's going the other way. Oh my god, don't let the scarecrow die. Oh! Oh my god! Oh. Why is that there? It's like a baby. I'm afraid your spell is too strong for this move. You're gonna have to stay behind. <gasps> no! Not Scarecrow, not Turnip. The Alchemy Circle. Teleportation? Alchemy. He's preparing for transmutation. Whoa! Whoa! Hey, a clean toilet. She's back in the back home. Is this just like her old house? I think she's got Benjamin Button disease, bros. Wait, she's she's face. She's getting younger. Girl, I don't get it. So ah. that suited you. Oh, right, a courtyard. That <laughs> That's so weird, dude. Hey, come on. It's a present for you. Come see. Whoa. Let's go. I want it. It's just hell. <laughs> the plot twist at the end is he really does eat her. Alive. Oh man, that'd be so sad. <laughs> He's a titan. Oh, it's Whoa. heaven. This is the end of uh, season three of AOT, the outro. No, it's too great. <laughs> it's like sky. This place is gorgeous, Oh, What is happening? I love that though. She's younger again. Yeah, but buddy. guys, you're right. It's like he's slowly okay. breaking her curse. Yeah. Is it love that's breaking it? Yeah. You're scaring me. I have this weird feeling that you're going to leave. Mm -hmm. How? Stop. Tell me what's going on. <coughs> Please. I don't care if you're a monster. Sophie, you're beautiful. Wait a minute. She's what the, the fuck is happening? Being old is you've got nothing much to lose. A battleship. Still looking for more cities to burn. Is it the enemies or the world? What difference does it make? Above all. It's like a flying thing from Loki's army. That was incredible. That Hulk punches. Look at that. It's the Leviathan. We can't just let them fly off with all those bombs. Whoa. What the f You see that? It's him. His face. Oh my gosh. What's happening? What did you do? Why is he so mysterious? Just mess with it. it won't crash though. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's his dark side energy taking over. He's slowly becoming a Sith. Uh all the mages. Uh, or what was it? Yeah. Let's go. Geonosis. Wow! Whoa! I would love a live action of this movie. Yeah. Oh. Mother? Sister. Oh. Sophie! <laughs> I don't. Goodness, you're here. I searched everywhere for you. Oh my, look at your face. You are so old. I barely recognize the place. Oh, uh, this was her actual house. The landlady? Her hair got shorter. I forgot. I've got a car waiting. I've got to run. Oh. Cool, dude. Uh. Mama, I'm a criminal. What is happening? Andy. Sweets. Oh, no. Peeping bug? Sullivan do better than that. Open wide, cow. A cigar, let's go. Yeah. What I was told. Now take me to my husband. Yes, ma'am. I'm sure Madame Solomon would be very pleased with you. Yep. Forgive me, Sophie. She just sold out her own daughter. Oh, look at all of them. Don't leave, Sophie. Aww. I love you. Aww. Because we're a family now. 
Uh, <laughs> well, now the family's dying inside. Yeah, everything's fucked inside, I bet. Yo. This lady, dude. Oh god. <laughs> Yo, cook. Cook! Uh, the reefer you just dog. Said cooked. The reef dog. You just said cook. Why would you do that, old lady? Damn. Bruh, the witch said don't go out. She's getting younger again. Oh no. Zombie tadpoles. Sullivan. Why is this woman here? with us? 
Oh no. What? This lady's annoying. Guys, that's literally what makes this place run. No, Marco! No, Marco's the kid. I know! What if I killed Hal too? Oh. <clears throat> oh. What, what the is happening? Fuck? The ring. She's accessing his heart. That was cute. That was, that was funny, yeah. The door. Squish the dog. The door. Is it what color is the door? Jump it. Jump it. That's crazy. The light just goes into nothing. Whoa. Uh, shadow realm. Go in, doggo. What is wrong with this dog? It's old. Go in, doggo. Yes! Love Brave. it. Brave. Movie ends. I was just gonna say credits. Credits roll. I'd be so enraged. Part two comes out in 2025. This People, 2030. People have been waiting for years. Oh. Wow. It's your name. Oh gosh. I was gonna say that. Oh. Has this happened in the past? Uh, oh god, your finger, dude! Oh man. Oh god, what's happening? It's getting harder to get out there. Oh! Whoa. Whoa. He's talking to it. Oh, he ate it. I didn't think when they said that earlier it was literal. The camera went to die. Oh. Oh shit. Guys, sorry, Califer is alive, but we're taking a pause real quick. His heart just emerged. Califer was born. Three, two, one. Oh gosh, what a weird place to pick back up. Oh, I guess this whole movie's weird anyway. I know how to help you now. How? You gotta eat a. Find me in the future. She's holding Calcifer. The old lady's holding like the little purple or the blue flame. flame. I need some. It's hard. Just smack her in the fucking bah! bitch. Give it to me. Don't look at me. I don't have it. I don't know what you're talking about. Please. You really want it that badly? Yes. Then go get it! I better try then. Oh no! Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> that 
is horrific. Oh no! You have saved us, Tana. True love's kiss. Yeah, his kiss rule. What was his curse? Thank you, Sophie. What? I'm the prince who's been missing from the neighboring kingdom. Somehow I got that blasted spell put on me. That's right. If it weren't for Sophie, I would have been a scarecrow for the rest of my life. He's so Crispin Freeman! No! So as soon as this war is over, I shall return. I love it when you talk like that. I look forward to your return, big boy. What the fuck? The dog is like, yes. I missed you too, Cassidy. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> So is her curse reversed or not? Like I don't get this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is happening? I am as confused. Another as house I, moving cast. I am as confused as I was when we started this film. <laughs> That's cute. It is. And on that note, y'all, I'm going to bed. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I feel like I just read a, a kid's lullaby book that left me confused when I was a child. Yeah. I feel that. Mm. A wild ride from beginning to end. Like I said earlier, it felt like Chitty Chitty Bang Bang to me. What is Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? The flying car. Okay. With uh, Dick Van Dyke. Is it confusing? Oh, it's a crazy, mystical, magical movie. Mm. They create a flying car. It flies by them singing. This movie was absurd. <clears throat> Absolutely absurd. Yeah. Like a lot of kids' movies. I don't know. I think Mulan made sense to me as a kid. You ever watch Alice in Wonderland? No, I didn't really that, like that one. That's like a drug psychedelic movie. I didn't really like that one. What would you call this, then? <laughs> Same thing. Yeah. I don't think I it was as I've, crazy as Spirited Away. I feel like... Okay. In... In certain aspects, yes. I feel like the story, this story made more sense yeah, than Spirit Away. Yeah, better story. If you guys had to tell me what you... Well, not a synopsis where it's like a brief overview of what you see. What would you say this movie is? About or just is? Yeah. Like, what would you say the premise is? Um, I don't know. Star yeah. Love? <laughs> Star-crossed lovers trying to fix each other's problems. I don't know. Cursed lovers. Yeah. Cursed lovers. Star-crossed cursed lovers. Cursed lovers with not specified curses try to figure out their not specific curses and how to fix them. Indirectly. Yeah. And there's a really funny know. fire that talks. Because I, I also wanted to say f forgiveness, too. Because I was literally thinking when she, like, when she told the which of the waste you have a very big heart I was literally thinking is this message also forgiveness because she cursed her I mean it's probably like one of the the 15 that are in this yeah yeah there's a lot of I feel like there's so many as I was watching the absurdity all I thought to myself is okay this feels like a period piece just a analogy for like a period piece but also like do all the little weird kind of creatures of people we meet represent a thing do they represent a thing about how? Do they represent a thing about the girl and her mind? Are they all their own individual things and just like vices that of people or good natured things about people? Because some things were like like there was the greedy lady, and but then there's like Herkel is that his name the little boy Markle Markle, and there didn't seem to be anything wrong with him. No. He just was like a little kid, but I also couldn't like pin anything specific about him other than like. A, a child's wonder, just like a normal child. A sprout young kid. And then you had the random prince at the end that was, I guess, the reason the war started, potentially, because there was a missing prince this whole time. Yeah. Yeah. And now that he can go back home, the war is going to end as simple as that. <clears throat> so what's up with that? What's up with the dog? That was what, just a what, spy for Solomon. Yeah, but, like, it barely acted as a spy through the film. Like, it didn't serve its purpose. It was more of an ally or, like, a because helpful friend and guy. Maybe because to, to, to shit her. Yeah. Sophie yeah. rescued the dog. And I was like, you know what? We're cool now. 
That's all I'm saying is it's very hard to follow, but I thought it was fun. Yeah. Like, that's how I feel coming out of it. I had a fun time. Yeah. This is like a... That, yeah, that's exactly how I feel. I feel like I, I would have loved this as a kid. I mean, I like it now as an adult. But like, I would have loved this as a kid as like a, a bedtime story book told by my mother or something or like something that I was allowed to put on TV before I go off to bed. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's super fun. It's super beautiful for yeah. sure. Um, very beautiful, actually. Very, a lot of great colors, too. Yes. Yeah, I mean, everything from the beginning, too, was, like, really colorful. Like, all the different, like, the officer uniforms and the streets and the buildings and all the flags. And yeah. The characters, like, cool, unique design. The way it, yeah. those soldiers were designed, the colorful ones, made me think of, like, nutcrackers. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? The, yeah, the men. It's just, just like a... Low like, wooden figurines of yeah, men. I, I know what Nutcracker is. I'm saying it's just a design of like a older, like military outfit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. And the performances by all the actors were cool. Yeah. Christian Bale was good. Yeah. I liked the, he was so odd. He was. The character was odd. Yeah. He's a very odd character. He's an odd character in real life too. Yes, he so, is. And that's why it fits really well. Yeah. Um. And I feel like both the actor actresses for Sophie were good too. Like the old lady and the younger one. It was fun to see like the random transitions too. Oh, I think yeah, that's my that only gripe. Any sense? That, that's my only gripe with the movie, which I'm sure someone who probably watched this a hundred times is like, "Oh, it's so obvious." I didn't catch it. I, I didn't really, catch it. The only time that like the first time that she changed, well, she slept. But there was one time where she was like, oh, "How?" Like was super excited about how, and then she changed. But then after that, it was like, it seemed like in the beginning that was the consistency, but then after that it was just kind of like whatever. Yeah. So, I don't really know. I think what my one most common, like, feeling I got during this movie, and don't take this as a bad thing, but I was like mad. I was like mad. I was like, is it, this movie's like too, like, it's too hard for me to follow. I was like frustrated that I couldn't figure out what I was watching. Mm-hmm. Um, between like, the, the w- random war... And the role it played in the movie and how it didn't really feel connected, but it was kind of just forced on our characters occasionally. The constant appearances of the dark, globby beasts and their constant appearances, and they seem like a threat, but also occasionally they just walk past you. They don't really try to kill you. Like, they carried the greed lady, Mm -hmm. but those were also the same things trying to kill our characters at one point. And then they switched to being like that, to then the tadpole creatures in the second half of the film that were flying around. I guess they weren't the same thing, because I guess no, we saw both the of them in the same area. But yeah, they weren't the same. And also just, like, how they were, like, designed, bubbly, kind of also reminded me of how the aircrafts were. Like, also kind of that yes. bubbly feel. Yeah. They had, like, rotations to them and, like, sphere spherical designs. So I didn't yeah. know if there was supposed to be a connective thing between that. Does that just represent, like, the bad spirit of man? and what war leads to or what a war can turn you into because there was the moment where the girl saw them out in the fire and she Sophie expected them to go put out the fire she was like why are you coming to attack me when you can do that instead and I was just like for some reason my mind went to like how men during war instead of like doing things to help they take advantage of a situation like yeah. of chaos and try to do whatever they want like I, I didn't know what the I mean I feel like that comment specifically was more just like a Leave me alone. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it was just like a dig. It wasn't yeah. really like a, a a think piece on like what what they were doing per se, because their whole mission was to capture yeah. Hal or kill Hal or whatever. I you know capture Hal and bring him back to yeah. Sullivan. So was that whole war to no. get Hal? No. See, that's the thing that was confusing too, because it seemed like it seemed like the king was bombing his own cities. Because they never really made it clear, like, who we're fighting against. Well, we saw two different dressed soldiers. Yeah, I know, but they never, like, clearly identified who was what. I don't right. think we ever got a king. We did. Did we? That was a dude who walked out. That Remember when <clears throat> Al was disguised as Solomon, and he was like, Hello, you're my lady. The guy with the big mustache mm-hmm. that came And she in. said, You're my majesty. And then there's another guy that walked in and was like, I've written up new plans. And then he looked, he said... Sullivan, you made a great double, double of me. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going back, and then it turned out to be Hal. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
I didn't know if it was just a random soldier, <coughs> but that makes sense. Yeah, so that was the king. Huh. Weird king. Yeah, I just, I feel like this could have been, you know how there's like some films where it's, you know going in it's going to be odd, but you have the pretext prior that's like, this is a propaganda of this historical event. Like this, you're going to go into this film, but it's going to be artsy interpretation of a World War One story yep. that people are familiar with. Yep. Like, it feels like that, but I just didn't get the pretext going into the film. Absolutely. Like, if you go into, like, a museum and it's like, hey, we're going to show you this cool little fun film that propaganda, or prop- what do you call them, propagandists, would have made for World mm-hmm. War Two, And then you watch it, and it's bizarre, and the Nazis are these great demons, and the British are these big eagles, and you're watching this, but it's super contr- abstract. But if it, it would be like going into that, but no one telling us that that's what it is. Right. Yeah. So, and you're right. I think there are probably plenty of people that know exactly what this is. I'm just not. not I am really. not there, so I'm, I'm super invested. I think I'm the most invested in this than any of the other ones where we had to dissect. Like yeah. Princess Mononoke, I feel like, was a little bit more clear. Yeah. Spirited Away was very absurd, but we kind of came to our own conclusions about, like, the adventure of a child. Grave of Fireflies is very direct in what it is. Mm-hmm. This, I think, is the mo- most absurd for me, personally. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I feel like this could really just be boiled down to kind of like you said, of almost like coming over your own personal demons, demons, battles, <clears throat> curses, whatever. You yeah. know, her forgiving the witch, how finding his heart again, and also having courage. <clears throat> you know, the witch now giving up her greed for yeah. hell. Um, but like those are really the only three that I feel like had like, you know, very identifiable things. Like, I don't know, what would you, Calcifer? Like, what would you, I mean, he was just the heart. Well, it seemed like well, he, he was, was like a star. A spirit. Yeah. He was a like... star slash he was the heart as well. That's the other thing I'm confused about. Why did Hal swallow a star? I don't know. And take his heart he out? Was Perhaps... t- he was talking to. He yeah. talked to it, too. Perhaps well, that's, that's how pe- wizards became wizards. Because no, wasn't Hal a wizard? He was already a wizard. Prior to eating yeah. the star? Yeah, because the Sullivan lady said that, oh, maybe she said that a demon cursed him. And, lo- and that's how he lost his so heart. So star. So Calcifer unintent, probably intentionally, like, fucked him over, but also screwed himself in the process. Yeah. <clears throat> and then, yeah, there was all those other stars, too, falling. And then there was those those visions that they had where it was almost like the stars, those, like, star people were, like, dancing around. Thing. Yeah. And star Jesuses. Yeah, it's just, I didn't, I didn't really... I'm just trying to figure out what that means to me, or it's, what it means to me. And so we traveled back in time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that came out of left field. It was like, what the fuck? It was so wild. And, and then, then maybe... What's the point of the castle? Just, I don't know. Well, magic. it was... It was Hal's... Home? Escape mechanism. He spent his whole... After losing his heart, he just spent his whole life, like, running and hiding. Hiding in different spots. So having a moving house that can tra- teleport you to anywhere, and you can pose yeah. as other people, was, like, the goal. For Which, him. I guess, is the blonde guy we met, and... Why he has the, that bath bathroom filled with colors? Because he was like, "This is my place to like potions, do my thing." And you're mo- ruining it. Now I have red now. hair. Yeah, I don't want red hair. It's what the king has. Yeah. Um. So who did all the cursing? I've been thinking about. What do you mean? Who cursed the witch of the waste with greed? Who? Yeah, I get. I get what you mean. Did I mean, Hal curse him? Hal cursed himself, um, right? Calcifer cursed Hal. Okay. But, like, it was weird because, like, the old lady cursed Sophie, but then yeah. it was, like, it didn't seem like it was an actual intentional Curse. thing. Yeah. Like, it just happened. But it seemed intentional in the beginning of the film. And then later she was like, I don't know how I did it. No, she says, well, she did it. She, she says, I know how to curse you. I don't know how to fix it. Yeah. That's why she said when when she was going up the steps, she's like, why don't you study it? Yeah, study and she, it. And she just put the curse over her because she was greedy that Sophie was pretty. No. Probably because she was swept off her feet by Hal. And she wants Hal. She wanted Hal. Okay. Jealousy. And this whole time, Turnip Head was just as attractive. A prince. Who, who, t- who turned him? Who cursed him? I don't know. He literally just like, yeah, I was war. cursed. LOL. Yeah. War changed him. LOL, funny. I was cursed and then this whole war was started because of me. <laughs> and he was funny. just dead in the bush. They yeah. found him like in a bush. I don't know. I mean, if he, he might have been my favorite character. Unironically. Un- Unironically. Um, hmm. Yeah. I 
don't know. It's cool. I would have definitely liked it as a kid. Um, I, I honestly would have been scared of Hal a little bit when his, in his Phoenix bird form when I was a kid. It's pretty scary now. Yeah. yeah. He was pretty creepy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he had multiple forms too. There was the film had like not inconsistencies because they were definitely designed for a reason, but so many different moments. Our characters looked so different every time. Like between the old lady falling apart, and every design of her looked different. She had more pudges, or she shrunk, or she got taller, or lost her hair, more to yeah. put together, or became flaccid or firm. It was weird. And then we had turnip head, which obviously completely different design later. I'm gonna have to look up what a turnip is because I don't know what it is. <laughs> or the little boy, like the, every like the... everybody had their disguises. <clears throat> oh, it's kind of kind of like I'm thinking of like a bee. Yeah, a I mean, it was like white, but like white. Yeah, with a leaf at the top of it. Hmm. I think. Or is that rich. like a fall plant that you would see with pumpkins? Yeah, I don't fucking know. I don't know. I'm not. I don't play Stardew Valley. That's the only way you know what a you, turnip is. Well, I mean, isn't that? I'm pretty sure in that game, that's how you like. You farm turnips and you make money off of it. Yes. It was like a huge thing in 2020. But it's only this is the only place turnips exist. I know. Just in my world. I know. In world. I know Thanos from Fortnite too. <laughs> <laughs> it's the guy from Fortnite. Um, what were we talking about? Dude, I don't know. No, we were talking about something. I I, I get that. I don't know. I, guys, come on, you derailed. <laughs> Shit, I don't remember what it was. MVP was turnip head. It was. Oh, you're talking about you, who cursed who? Well, you yeah. said the animations were all different. That oh, yeah, and how everybody, everybody looked different, and oh, and how. Like, there was that one moment in the cave where you actually saw, like, a beast face, mm-hmm. but you never saw that again throughout the whole movie. No, you did when he was in the sky fighting, and Sophie was like, Oh, yeah. He was, like, he was in the yeah! plane, like, ah! Yeah. <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah. I guess just overall, my <laughs> thoughts are bizarre. Yeah. I don't think it's a bad thing. It's not the greatest thing either. I just think I need to watch this again, but I think I need to wait a year. When you're yeah. not high, bro. Yeah, I'm not Can't high. Can't be smoking not. the I'm reefer com- watching completely the sober. I'm completely sober and I feel very high. We're sober, <laughs> yeah. That's how I felt after Spirited Away as well. Like, that the movie yeah. forced me into a trip. Yeah, it is very wild. Some good notes, the music. Yeah, the music. Outstanding. Stellar. Visuals outstanding as well. I told them I knew the music because I have a lo-fi anime playlist I listen to that has this song very prominently played over and over again. I think, and I had told these guys, I had also seen like the first 17 or so minutes of this film back when me and Adam were on vacation, like 2017. This is nothing at all like what I thought it was. I remember up to the fireplace. I remember up to meeting the little fireplace guy and I looked at the camera because I knew what was about to happen. But I don't remember um, Turnip Head. I don't really remember any of that stuff. And I like I don't remember the Beard Kid, so I think that's where I stopped mm. watching the film. I, think, I, I probably, at the time, because that, that would have been the first anime, even before watching Death Note, that I would have witnessed, I probably would have thought it was too absurd and turned it off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So certainly a weird first thing for me to have witnessed. Also, speaking on that, animation-wise, it, the animations were beautiful. I think this is one of those animes that feel more Western to me. Like, I, f- I get more cartoon vibes from, like, things oh, yeah. I've seen mm-hmm. rather than um, traditional anime stuff that <clears throat> I've witnessed so far. Yeah. I think it's just probably, too, because Studio Ghibli was more like, um, at least I would say in my childhood, I remember, I remember these movies as being, like, the accepted foreign animation. If that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Like, like Oscars. They had like, well, not just that, but just like, you know, like you'd see commercials for it or you would like mm-hmm. see the ads for it on like, you know, oh, you just bought this Disney movie. There's this Studio Ghibli film or something like that. Like, mm-hmm. like I feel like it was just like an accepted, like, I feel like if you watched like the Dragon Ball Naruto Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon, it was like you were strictly on Cartoon Network. But if you were anywhere outside of that as a, like, an American, and you saw anime, it was probably Studio Ghibli. I feel like in that time frame. Yeah. At least. Like, if you were a, a normal per like, <laughs> not that people, not that people watch anime aren't normal, but I'm saying if you were, like, a normie, like, just, like, pl- plain, yep. plain Jane person, if you heard of anime, it was either, like, maybe you heard Pokemon, because Pokemon was huge. And Dragon Ball. And Dragon Ball, but mostly, I feel like people pictured, like, Studio Ghibli stuff. Oh. 
You know what's crazy about that? All my time growing up, I just thought Dragon Ball and Pokemon was just an American cartoon. Yeah, well, that's because that's how big they were. You know? Yeah. Okay, they, they, they were Pokemon, huge. Yeah. Everybody I knew played Pokemon, mm -hmm, and yeah. most every guy I knew would not make references to Dragon Ball Kamehameha's. Yeah. Go to the pool, you see some kid doing it. Yeah. Early 2000s, yeah. Yeah, this Big is cool. Little. I didn't have a Piccolo toy, and I didn't even watch the show. Mm. Piccolo toy I love my too. Piccolo toy. I don't even know where it is, though. I guess I don't love it. Um, Chris Sabine. Sabine? Who's, oh, Chris Sabat. Fuck. I always fuck his name up. You fuck up a lot of names. I do. Chris Sabat. <laughs> what was Chris the, Sabat is Piccolo. What do you call Joe, um, DiMaggio? Joe DiMaggio? It's not Joe, that. Joe it's DiMaggio? Not? It's DiMaggio. DiMaggio? Yeah. <laughs> was that spirited away? Um, Princess Mononoke. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he was in something else that when me, him, and Caleb watched... And he was like, Joe DiMaggio. I was like, God damn it. <laughs> um, Weirdly enough, some of the faces actually reminded me a lot of um, Spirited Away. Little Merkel reminded me of the main girl from Spirited Away. That like little chunky little kid mm -hmm. face. Yeah. And then... Um, I feel like the old Sophie. I feel like all the animations are like, yes. I feel yeah. like all the animations are like pretty similar for this. I wonder if it was like studio. the same group, the same, same animators. Because, yeah. Spirited Away Sophie was... looked just like Grandma, Granny. Spirit Boy was 2001, so this is three years after that. Yeah, and even so how even how looked like um, <clears throat> was the dragon in Spirited Away. I forget his name. I forget oh his yeah, names. oh yeah. Kind of like him mixed with the main boy from Princess Mononoke that has the gobble goo arm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Main protagonist. Main, yeah. Where do we want to give a final ranking of all of Absolutely. our four Ghibli films? Uh, yes, because people have waited. I suppose to rank these. Um, shit, this is really hard too because I'm just coming off this film. Can we? How about this? Before we rank them, I also want you to rate them out of one to ten. Your, okay, your, or or Ron Tomato, one to one hundred style. I want to know your scores on Spirited Away. Out of one hundred now. Yep. Let's start okay. with Spirited Away, because you've had. We had like a month or however long it's been since we watched that. This is great. Of course, this one's gonna give us the most heat. <laughs> For sure. I mean, it's whatever. I'll give it a 70. 70? I would say like a 74. Four, yeah. Probably like also a 70. Yeah. It was cool. It was just, it was just too absurd and like the story just didn't really like follow through. Yeah. But I liked it though. No, it was good. Like, yeah. Sunny War is not bad. I'm just. It was. I'm not saying that. Mind fuck. Yeah, yeah. It's just. It was an enjoyable ride. I just don't know how much I would want to rewatch that. Mm -hmm. Um, like I feel like I get like for a kids movie standards, like I can rewatch like Mulan anytime. I love Mulan. Yeah, or it's Aladdin easily or Lion King. Ones. But I don't know if how inclined I'd be to rewatch that. Other than like, if I was like tripping balls and <laughs> just was like, yeah, let's throw this on. Fuck it. Yeah, but. All right, Princess Mononoke. I'd say that's for me. It was like an eighty. Damn that! Yeah, it's an eighty for me too. I like it at least far more than Spirit Away. Well, not far more, but at least a tenth more. Yeah. I mean, if you don't like it, don't you? I'm gonna give it a sixty-five. Hmm. No. Damn. All right. I I just Fair thought I, I thought at least like it, the story. Like, I could track where we were going and enjoy the plot throughout the whole way. Yeah. It was it was a fun ride, too. Grave of Fireflies? I think, despite it being, like, one of the most, like, depressing, depressing. things. I think it's, like, a, to me, it's, like, an 89. 89? 91. 89, 91. Yeah, I'll give it an 85. Yeah, it's, like, an 80. 80. Yeah. I and thought it was a good story. It was just, like, one of those things where... I think my biggest knock on it is that it was like I immediately I died because it just doesn't give like oh any, at the beginning I it, they drop it so quick yeah and then they let it go yeah and then it happens September twelfth but, but it's not like I don't know to me it's it doesn't really give much of a because I was like mentally prepared it was definitely sad I was mentally preparing myself I wasn't prepared for the younger sibling as much. Well, once we figured out, like, he went to the spirit realm, she was wa walking with him the whole time, like... Spoiled it. You know, yeah. yeah it, it, it's like, it spoiled itself. Yeah. 
Yeah. I understand that. And then this movie for me is also kind of like a 70. It places around itself for me with Spirited Away overall. I think I think for me it's an 80. I like I I, f- I feel as good about this as I did about Princess Mononoke. And Princess Mononoke I only gave it a little bit higher just because I really like could fully follow the plot. This was like all over the place, but I don't really have any gripes other than Sophie, what the fuck? How? Why is she back to normal now? Or why is she half back to normal? Like her hair's still gray. Yeah, it's not even about the absurdity. I think it's just uh, <clears throat> my own personal taste. I don't think yeah. this is right. Uh, I think the the only thing I really liked from this that's like right down my alley is like the the scenery, not the cities, but like I like the landscape, which is why Princess Mononoke is a little higher for me. Like I like that like feel. I'm give this a ninety. Damn, nice. I really like this. Yeah. I felt like this could have, like, vibe with you. Yeah. Especially with, like, the... How... How's your type of character? Mm-hmm. I mean, he was fun for sure. Mm-hmm. I think Mike Sullivan... He was hilarious. <laughs> I think... Yeah, he was great. Well, not Mike Sullivan. Uh, Calcifer. Is that his name in the movie? Mike Sullivan? Sully. Uh, Mike Wazowski. Sully. No, Mike Wazowski, Mike Wazowski and Sully's Sullivan. The yeah. Sully's the other one. Yeah. Okay, favorite characters. Oh, also, before before the ratings... In all movies? No, no, no. No, okay. no, no, just for this one. But before that, even with those reviews, like these, that's like my feeling of how I think may- maybe the world would view these. I don't know. Like, they're actually a lot lower in my mind compared to like A Silent Voice in Your Name. Like, if I had to compare it against those films, these are like 50s and 60s. A Silent Voice is like a 100 for me. Like, I love that film. Yeah. I mean, And the- Your Name's Light would be like an actual 85, where these would be like all 75s and below. I don't think the Studio Ghibli have vibed with me as much as some of the more modern stories, which is fine, but... Yeah, I think it's also just for not the audience for it, yeah. particularly, so... For these Ghibli movies, or the first two? The Ghibli, I'm saying we're not the audience for the Ghibli movies. Okay. I, your name is... I mean, Silent Voice is literally about suicide, so it's like... <laughs> suicide and bullying, which is like, A, something that's very like relevant for our generation, and B, it's like, it's more... There's more of an adult theme to it, whereas yeah. like an adult, we feel like I watch it. Do you agree I or disagree? Did, I, I was just gonna say I didn't really enjoy that one. Which I just one? love a silent, it a silent voice. voice that much. I, I like your name better. One. I like them. I, I like your name more, but I think it's, I would put them for me. I would put them like ninety, eighty nine, or oh, ninety one. I would put 90, so. uh, your name up with this. Like your name, 90. your name for me was like a super fun story to follow. Super like vibrant and sci fi, and it was had a lot of fun surprises. And it was super exciting to me. So that's why it's so a, high, a lot higher than the Studio Ghibli's. And it was relatively fun to follow, too. Like, constantly you're wondering what's going to happen. You could really connect with the characters. But, and Silent Voice just landed so hard for me because I just it just felt so, like, grounded. Like, I could understand every single thing I was watching for the most part. And I yeah. felt so connected to all the characters. Yeah. So I just, I don't know. It hit I, me. But I think, I think it's fair to, like, rank these movies within their own bubble yeah. or realms or genres. Because, like... Okay, this is different. I'm not going to spoil any of these shows. But, like, AOT and Game of Thrones. I feel like I hear a lot of people, like, talk about those. They and Breaking them. Bad. They put them, like, all in kind of, like, that same, like, category. But I feel like in reality, like, you really can't even... You can't, like, rate them on the same scales. Because they're very... Very not, different. Not that they're different stories, but just because of it, like... How it's executed. How it's executed. What, what you're able to do with it. Like, Attack on Titan has... A lot of great characters and a lot of cool story. But, like, Game of Thrones, live action, like, you actually... There is, like, real relationships with, right. like, side characters. Where there's relationships with side characters in Attack on Titan, but it's not... It's a drawing compared it's not, to real It's life. not like a, you know... I mean, you could you could say, like, in Game of Thrones that maybe... Um, I wouldn't say this. But just for like the grand scheme of everything, you could say like Tyrion might be more of a side character than like the actual main cast in some seasons, mm-hmm. and or oh, in the overarching story of it. But he that he can relate so well to like the whole. Everybody can like really relate to him, and he's a really well written character. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. But whereas like in Attack on Titan, there's really like there's like 10 characters that you can really relate to across the whole story and then there's like side characters that might have like a moment whereas like a Brienne of Tarth is like somebody that has like a really great story that you can follow like all the way to and from it it's not like just like one episode or one like little story arc that like they're important in, if that makes mm-hmm. sense. Yeah. 
But they're both amazing shows, both like 10 out of 10s. But you just can't, I just, to me, you just can't even put them in the same like field or scale. Yeah. So, a little random, but. Mm -hmm. It's a fair character. This is very hard for me. I, I, I'll say it. I really liked uh, Calcifer. See, it's between Calcifer and Turnip. They both were amazing characters. Yeah, and you know what? I have mine. First time ever, I'm not picking a one. It's those two. So you don't even have That's a third? Cheating. No. Oh, no, right. they're, they're tied for one. Well, what's the third? You at least have to put a third. If somebody couldn't Markle. claim two. Markle. Markle? Is it Markle? Markle? Markle. 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 My favorite's Turniphead. Number two is Calcifer. Number three is Sophie. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Sophie was a good character. I'll, I'll say for three, Calcifer, Sophie... Um, and I'll say, just to be different, I'll say Marco. Marco. How Set up you me. did not make it in your own movie. I know, just like, I know. Just like Princess Mononoke didn't make it in her movie. Yeah. Because she wasn't the main character. Which is kind of annoying. She was. Mm. We have like ten minutes left, so whatever you want to say. Favorite moment? Of, again, of this? Yeah, of this movie. When Sophie was going through the two tunnels, looking for Hal. I'd say any time Turnip came for the clutch. <laughs> any time Cal... Cal yeah. The Cal's for high banter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll take that. Felt like I was just watching Monsters Inc. every time. Yeah. Yeah. Which isn't like one of my favorite animation oh, yeah. movies. Earlier on, while we were off camera, Sam discovered, or I looked up, that it's Mike Wazowski, Billy yeah, Crystal. Gotta love that. Yeah, so that's about it. Guys, we gotta let, let us know your thoughts uh, on the Studio Ghibli movies and how they rank for you and all that fun stuff. But for now, hope you had a good time. Make sure you leave a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so. Once again, try and do what we said. Do a rank system for yourself. How would you also rank them to some of the more modern anime movies? And let us know your favorite characters, your favorite moments from all these movies. And we'll see you in the next movie reaction, whenever that is. Punch it! Bam!